lots of people here now. Just a few more minutes before they open the doors. And then we're going to flood in there. So I just got here just about five minutes ago and just, just kind of standing here waiting on the doors to open and already done had a fan walk up here. What's your name, man? Blake Kramer. Blake Kramer. And what town did you say you were from? I'm from Linton, Indiana. And do tree work, yep. land, clearing. Tree work, land clearing, right away mowing, residential. Right. Anything besides building houses and asphalt, we do it. So we're just sitting here waiting on them to open the doors when we can go in and check out the TCI show, man. Appreciate you watching, dude. Hey, ain't no problem. You got some good videos. I learned a lot from you, too. Really? Quite a bit. <laughs> Running log skitter and all that. Oh, yeah, cool. I try to get a little bit of tree climbing, but I ain't got the heights for that yet. Oh, yeah. You, know, you work out of a lift. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. yeah up there I feel a lot safer in that than having a rope for a life support. Well, you know, it's funny. If I get in a lift or something, I feel weird because I'm not mm -hmm. waiting on a rope. You know, I feel yep. a little weird. It's a little hairy. You know, it takes mm -hmm. me a second or two to kind of get my bearings right, you yep. know. And uh, so that's that's always pretty interesting there, man. Believe it or not, I've... I've had some guys taught me how to cut some trees and stuff. I actually learned quite a bit from your stuff. Too. Really? Cool. Yep. Cool. Well, that's I very... bought my first 500 eye because you got one too. <laughs> <laughs> my dad bought a 400 and yeah, yeah. that's a hell of a saw there. It is. That a 400 is a, nice. is a good saw. It really is. Well, man, I appreciate you uh, coming up talking to me. Hey, no man. problem. I was pretty skeptical at first. I'm like, man, I think that's him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's me, man. All right, dude. So they got it opened up. We're going in. So I'm, I'm here with the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. August Honecky. No, I am. I'm, I'm here with Cotton Top Three. <laughs> but anyhow, so we're at the TCI show, and he's got all of his monkey beaver stuff here. He's got saddles, got a speed line kit. He's got the cell phone pouches. He's even got a water bottle holder over there. This, this is one of the coolest things we got. Uh, for for storing rope. So, right now it's got a hoodie in it, but <laughs> sorry, Joe. <laughs> Is that a shirt? That's a shirt. I'm in Charles. Twenty five. So you don't have to get down on the ground. That's right. You just feed it right back <laughs> in right there. Or put it over a limb. Or put it or bring it from over your shoulder in the back. Right? And then 
and then when you want to take it off, like if you're in, the, if you go up on a crane ball, mm -hmm. uh, when you get up there, you just go like this. It's all, it's all. It's off. The shoulder straps for the harnesses are a uh, are a big big deal. I learned real quick. Uh, you know, hanging with a saw, as long as you're waiting on a belt, everything's good. But as soon as you start moving around in the canopy and what have you and all, it, the shoulder harness has come in really, really big. So what uh, what made you get into the, the, the saddles and, and all that stuff like that, just looking for more comfort? A uh, lot of years of pain and damage to my spine. Mm -hmm by wearing cheap stuff, just low back support. Right, right. So then once we got a platform to work from, we were like, hey, let's design it how we want. Right. Out there in the Pacific Northwest out yeah. there, do a lot of takedown. August Hunnicky on YouTube, Instagram, Monkey Beaver on Instagram. Find him right there, monkeybeaver.com for yeah. all the merchandise yeah, and all. Yeah. So hopefully I was talking to him about possibly coming out there and, and working and, and yeah. with him for a few days and and learning some stuff because I'm all about learning and uh, getting out. So it'd be, it'd be pretty cool, but it's good to finally meet you, man. YouTube collaborate. Oh yeah, you Cotton too. Top three. That's yeah. right, there we go, man. Appreciate uh, it, dude. Thumbs up for that. Let oh, yeah. us know in the comment section if you want us to do that. Oh yeah, let us know. <laughs> Oh yeah.
So the TCI show in Indianapolis, Indiana was a uh, a good show. Seen a lot of people who I knew, and there was uh, quite a few people there who who knew who I was and came up and spoke to me through seeing me through the uh, videos and and on um, Instagram stuff like that. But that was pretty cool. Um, you know, I wasn't sure. I felt like there was going to be a lot of people there. By the way, they were ramping it up pretty good there the last couple months or so, sending out all the emails that they were sending out and there were there were a lot of people there to show uh it was attended well by vendors too uh, I, I could tell there was a few vendors that probably would have been there uh normally had you know covid stuff uh, not still be on the horizon here but uh anyhow i didn't speak well, I spent one day up there at the actual show. I, I really didn't need to go up there when I went up there. I'd been on the fence about going, and I just kind of pulled the trigger at the last minute, drove up there on that Wednesday, attended the show on that Thursday. I got up at uh, 3.30 hour time uh, Friday morning, I drove back real quick, I was back here at lunch, uh, 1.30, I was on a tree job working one because I've, I've kind of gotten behind. Well, I don't know if I'd call it behind. Um, you could, you could call it that, but it's just, I've got so many jobs. I counted it there, uh, over the weekend. I've got 18 on the books to do and I picked up another one today and, uh, and a lot of these jobs that I'm getting now are not, they're not just like where I can walk up to them and, and work them uh, by myself. Uh, those are kind of um, getting slimmer coming by. They're bigger, larger things, more to the, more to the stuff and, and all. But so, uh, and then I worked the, the whole weekend trying to kind of catch up, knock out as many jobs as I could. But I saw a lot of stuff at the show. Uh, I've got a video with Huss Varner. This is what I'm going to post by itself. I didn't want to put it in this video here with this because it would have got it too long. But it's about the 592 and what to expect from it and when it's going to be uh, available. And just kind of all the all the nitty gritty uh, details on it because it's kind of the talk of the town right now. And it's going to be... It's going to be on in the next year, 2022, before that, that chainsaw is uh, ready. Have I ran one? Yeah, I've ran one. Um, I, I don't have one yet. They're Like I said, they're not available here. So I'll get one uh, eventually once they become available, uh, getting, them, getting them here in the United States. But hope you enjoyed that. A lot of, lot of stuff to see, man. There's a lot of equipment out there, a lot of all kinds of different stuff to uh, – using the tree world so this past weekend had the uh chainsaw class first one of the fall uh went over very very well uh, good time great group of guys here uh we worked here at the house thursday and uh i mean uh friday evening friday night and worked here until about two o'clock i guess saturday and then we went to the woods and worked on blowdowns over there um just a fantastic time. I've got another chainsaw class coming up that I'm going to be doing uh, here in a couple of weeks. It's uh, December the 3rd and 4th. Yeah, 3rd and 4th coming up. Uh, the class has nine people in it. I limit it to 10, but I'm going to go ahead and take if some other people want to come to it. Uh, you know, I'll get up to 11 or 12. And I've kind of got it set up to where I can work more people uh, through now. Uh, Chris will be here that day too. And where I can, I'll have uh, double boring stations running at the same time, stuff like that. So if you're interested in coming to Chainsaw Class, email me down below and I can fire you back a class outline for the whole thing. It is $400 that covers the uh, Friday evening. Usually let people start coming in here about 4 o'clock where we can just kind of hang out from 4 to five and then from five to about eight but it usually turns in five to about nine 
and then uh, we start back up that Saturday morning and we cover everything, saw maintenance, bars, chains, the whole nine yards on a chainsaw and also then just cutting. Uh, we get all the way, all the way up. We start off uh, cutting cookies, stuff like that, uh, boring, everything all the way up to actual uh, felling where we're working on uh, felling trees, a lot of classroom stuff, a lot of outside stuff. And then we end up going right down the road over here to work on blow down situational stuff, show you how to work spring poles, how to get lodged and stuff down that's hung up. And it's a good time, a lot of information. So uh, hope y'all have a great week. I'll catch y'all later. Later, taters.